guys, it's Helen. This time we're going to Seoul and on the first day we arrived really late so we're getting a late night snack. On the first full day, we went to eat raw marinated crab. It is a Korean specialty and I actually did not know they were supposed to be raw so when I got there, I was a little surprised. We were supposed to wrap the crab inside seaweed mm. and it was it was just so good and it was actually kind of hard to get them on it but i managed we were just walking around and we saw celebrities filming a variety show i guess that's just what you get if you live in korea we then went to a really aesthetic bakery and i picked up these cat shaped madelines they were so yum We were blessed with such a beautiful sunset on our way to dinner in Gangnam and we got Korean barbecue, it was so good. On the second day, we went around and thrifted so much around this district, we just literally went into every single thrift store. This thrift store was definitely my favorite, they have a lot of cam recorders and vintage designer bags. This cafe was all over Instagram but everything there was just too sweet for me. On our way to the Don't Look Up photo booth, we thrifted more, we shopped more, and we took some photos outside while we were lining up for this photo booth. It was definitely worth it, but you should go early to line up. to shoot guns and we really sucked but it was so fun on the third day we went to even more cafes and tried on hanbok our driver was so cute that he google translated to converse with us in english the weather is nice today and you can see far away so if you climb up seoul tire you will be able to see all of seoul Everyone's taking photos because there's some cats up there. Oh my god! So cute! Yes, we went to another cafe, but this one is special because it's in the old traditional Korean house and all the food there was buzzing. Look at this! It's so nice! It's so pretty! Here. I know! I want to get this! <laughs> <laughs> okay, do a taste test. Taste test. It's so good. You should try this. I know you don't like matcha, but you should try it. It's good. Mm. It's like soya so yeah, or whatever yeah, down there. It's yeah. Just normal coffee. Strawberry. As someone that does not like sweet, this cafe's cake was so good that we devoured the whole thing. We kept seeing these tags everywhere, so we caved and we got a few as souvenirs. We got to try it on Han Book and we walked around the palace like it was in the ancient times, like it was in the movies. They did our hair and they let us rent this whole outfit with a bag for a whole day, only for 500 Hong Kong dollars, so we thought it was really worth it. Afterwards, we went to get a snack, but by snack, we mean a whole meal. Um, and we got this really good beef patty that I really really liked. It was so juicy and I just really liked it. This dumpling was like half the size of my head, okay? It was so big. to Myeongdong for street food. It was so good. 
I might have shopped a little too much at Sloppy Soul and we thrifted even more and I got this really cute Y2K cap that I wore on the next day. After all the shopping, we thought it's time to try the street food in Hongdae and it was so good. Even with a glossy, sugary coating, it was not super sweet. I keep seeing everyone holding this long yogurt around me, so I caved and I got it too. I'm glad I didn't get just the blue. Oh. For our last meal in Seoul, we went to a random restaurant in Hongdae and I was really craving soup so I got chicken soup. Cat cafe. We went to a cat cafe just to chill and look at this gorgeous cat. She has two different color eyes. So precious. This other one, her blue eyes, so pretty. We did more shopping and then headed back to the hotel. Going back to the hotel. Shopping. At the airport, we waited like what felt like two hours just to get past security. Um, and then we finally boarded our flight back to Hong Kong. So, until next time. Bye!